Hi, I'm Lisa K. Donner, along with Andrew Moran, Sarah Calgill, James Fight, and Jeff Charles. And this is the Conservative Five, Liberty Nation's online TV news program. Well, folks, we've had a week of political mishmash to let off some steam. We're going back to the oldie but goodie game called Just for Fun. So today we'll play a game of political worst case scenarios. Everybody gets to pick a number from one to five. The panel has not seen these questions. They have been hermetically sealed. So let's begin with our funny man, Andrew Moran. Three. Number three. All right, let's see. I hope it's not Maxine Waters and Nancy Pelosi. You know it's gonna be. (laughs) I almost feel like you should just ad lib it as Nancy Pelosi and Maxine Waters. Yeah, whoever's on there. Number three, you find yourself under the mistletoe, surrounded by Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton, John Ossoff, and Stacey Abrams. You got to smooch someone. Who do you lock lips with? Yeah. Oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, well, I mean, uh, Stacey, Stacey Abrams, oh, my goodness. I'm not gay. So I guess I have to go with Hillary Clinton. You know, uh, how much that pains me. I'll just close my eyes and think it's, you know, another uh, hot Democrat. Oh, my good. Anybody else have any different answers there? I'd kiss Bill Clinton. He's probably pretty good at it. <laughs> yeah, he's had a lot of practice. So I'm with you, Sarah. All right, uh, Jimbo. One, two, four, or five are your possible picks. Uh, so I'm going to pull a Jeff here and go, one. Oh, my God. Oh, everybody's Damn taking it. Jeffrey's. Just if you, if this is your first time tuning in, Jeff must have number one. Yeah, and I haven't had it for like the past few times. Oh, and he says it so I exuberantly, to too. Like. I was waiting for you to whine. It's <laughs> white. Okay, here we go. It's white elephant time at the swamp Christmas party. You drew Hillary Clinton. What do you get her this year? I'm sorry, it's what time? Uh, oh, no, he doesn't know what a white elephant is. I've never heard of this before. A it's white like elephant. a secret Santa you give Sarah. somebody a weird gift. God, you need an education. You know, a goofy gift. All right, well, we'll let somebody else take this. Jeff. Yeah, sorry. This. Jeff, you can have one. Yeah, I got one out after all. Okay, now you got one after all. <laughs> oh, wow. Hillary Clinton. Um, <laughs> I... <laughs> oh man, what would I give her? I dead would... air, Jeff. Dead air. What do you well, got? See, okay. but I'm, trying to, I'm trying to avoid something that will get me killed. So I'm trying to see what I can get here. That will <laughs> I have an idea. I'll take this one and then I will give you another one if you'd like. Okay, that's cool. Okay, I would get her a walking stick so she can walk for hours and hours in the fields like after she lost her uh, uh, the election in 2016. So I, I think Donald Trump Trump's seems like a good, speech. relatively safe option. What do you think? A Hillary walking stick? No, I, I'd, give her, I'd, I'd give her a lifelong uh, therapy sessions to get over her own crap. <laughs> All right. I would give her a discount to my ghostwriting services for the next time she wants to write a book about why she lost. Okay, so whose was this originally? There was this uh, Jim? mine. This is Jim's. <laughs> okay, so okay, so Jeff, you, you get two, four, or five. 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 Yeah. The White House elf on the shelf has a hidden camera. It has recorded Joe Biden in his office for a month. What's on the tape? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Probably a lot of Jill Biden, probably a lot of flatulence and, you know, uh, his meetings with his teams where he does. Oh, so, so uh, talking with his wife, flatulence and a lot of snoring. That's what's on. That's what's on the camera. Maybe the sippy cup makes an entrance. That too. Yeah, probably. We may finally get to see the truth, hear the truth rather about corn pop. <laughs> <laughs> I think perhaps he's walking around his office, just randomly touching things, looking out the window, scratching his head, you know, just doing all these random things like, because he just, since he doesn't work all day anyway. So he's just, you know, being you know, like an old man, old man, it's what old men do. They look out the window and just walk around from one point to the next. 
At least that's what I told him. Yell at some Secret Service agent, tell him to get off his grass. Did somebody say something about Brandon? I think you're going to see. I think you're going to see daily injections of uh, of uh, any kind of B12 shots. No, worse like earplugs, adrenaline, (laughs) just to keep (laughs) him moving. All right, Sarah, you can have. um, Let's see, four or two, and I already went. Two, you lost a bet, and now you have to go Christmas caroling with either Nancy Pelosi or Liz Cheney. Who do you pick and why? Oh, Nancy Pelosi. She's going to be drunk, and I'm going to be drunk with her. Well, you know, that that's from, that's a good one. Yeah, I, I'd pick Nancy over Liz Cheney. And Nancy seems a lot funner than, like, Liz Cheney doesn't seem fun at all. Like, at all. No, I think we can lube old Nancy up and get her rolling and it might be yeah. kind of fun as long as Tell we're not talking stories. politics. At least you know what you're getting with Nancy Pelosi. I mean, Liz Cheney, you know, she says one, she's a Republican, I don't know. What? And she might shoot you in the face. Yeah. Like her father. <laughs> wrong, wrong Cheney. That's my joke. I've used like, that joke twice. The apple right? doesn't fall yeah. too far from the tree. I know, right? You just got to hope it's not hereditary. Mm-hmm. You're plagiarizing right. my jokes, not that, uh, Jeff. <gasps> All right, so everybody's had a turn. Now you know how to survive political events. Maybe Did we, we should have call... an extra question? Yes, because I took Jeff's, which was really Jim's. All right, well, let's, I would say we open it up to the floor. All right, four, four. You're, going, you're having your picture taken with Santa and a jolly old elf grabs your rear end in a bad way. You rip off the beard and exclaim, I knew it was you, blank. Fill in the blank. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he sniffed my hair first, I know who I would. Uh, yeah, but there was there was no hair sniffing, so it has to be Slick Willie. It has to be Bill, yeah. Well, Lisa, Lisa, I'd say that I'm, it's me, Donald Trump, who's Santa Claus, okay? Because I grab him by the you-know-what all the time. That's what elves <laughs> do, okay? That's what we all do. So I'm, 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 I'm that guy. All right, I'm that there guy. You go there, thank you. Talk. Thank so- you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> So for me, since um, I have a new woman in my life, Kirsten Cinema, Cinema hasn't been able to get over me breaking up with her. So it would be her. And I would turn around and say, look, Kirsten, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to move on. I fell in love. I, I, I will cherish the time that we have together, but it, it, you got to find somebody else. What about your, your, your hottie, uh, Andrew? What's her name? Uh, well, there's I a few. You're referring there's, to Tulsi Gabbard. There's Elise Stefanik. There's uh, Tulsi Gabbard. There's I, I've grown on Kirsten Cinema. I must say there's AOC. So there's there's, uh, there's quite a few of them. So well, uh, she's you newly know, single. All so you can, you can hit her up. I'll, I'll hook you guys up. <laughs> well, now you guys know how to survive political events. Hey, maybe we should call this political survivor. Anyway, folks, we hope you played along with us and remember to share your answers with us in the comments section on Facebook or YouTube as payback. Thanks for joining us and pop on over to LibertyNation.com for a little bit of sanity analysis and very best in political humor. All right. I'm stopping my phone. Uh, Don't forget to check out our daily memes to keep a smile on your face. And that's it for our Conservative 5 panel today. Check out our other C5 shows and segments on your favorite video platform, YouTube, Vimeo, Rumble. We're on them all. As well, Liberty Nation has its own Roku channel where you can see all of our TV productions. Thanks so much for tuning in. And remember to surf on over to LibertyNation.com. Sign up for our new member zone. We're running a special this Christmas, just $6 for six months. Special thanks to our fantastic editor and post coordinator, Frank DiOrio, and our executive producer, Sarah Cowgill. I'm Lisa K. Donner, editor-in-chief. Thanks for joining us today. This has been a production of LibertyNation.com, where truth is making a comeback.